Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel, I'm Antonov2 as usual and today I've got, well not a real tutorial but more of a kind of a quick tip or guide video for you guys and we'll be talking about auto aim and in the course of this video I'll be telling you when to use auto aim and when not to use auto aim. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know what auto aim is, basically to auto aim you uh, point your cursor or your reticle at an enemy tank and then by default you press the right mouse button Although you can change the key binding in your settings window and what that will do is it will make your reticle follow the enemy tank automatically Without you having to aim yourself now uh, This function although it sounds kind of nice at the beginning It has several drawbacks and is highly situational it only is useful in very certain situations and that's why today I will be explaining to you when to use this function when not to use it and if you use it how to use it properly so to begin with I'll show you how not to use auto aim and that is you should never use auto aim to try to hit a quickly moving target so for this example my mate General Denny here will be auto aiming at me and my STB1 as I drive over a screen and as you can see he's auto aiming and he misses his shot Now the reason for that is because when you auto aim it will not give lead to the tank you're shooting at and as you see he misses both his shots and I uh, can progress over the airfield without receiving any damage so sometimes if you're using very high velocity ammunition for example APCR premium rounds then in that case firing at a moving target can work but generally you should avoid it because as you could see right there usually it results in you missing your target so after having shown you how not to use auto aim now i will show you when and how to use it and how to make the most of this function because actually it can be useful even for advanced players so when you use auto aim you want to use it when you pop around a corner to take a quick snapshot around the corner the reason why this is advantageous when you go around the corner is because sometimes you do not exactly know where your enemies will be behind the corner or even if you do know sometimes it can take extra time to actually bring your reticle to bear on them and what that does is it means that you will have more time where you're exposed to enemy fire when you come around the corner where you try to aim your shot and especially when you're firing at lightly armored targets like the AMX CDC where it is actually irrelevant where you hit them taking a snapshot with auto aim can help immensely with reducing your exposure to enemy fire however you always have to be careful for example when you pop a corner and are trying to take a snapshot at say an E75 and probably using auto aim is not the best idea because when we look at an E75 you need to hit him on his lower glaciers to be able to penetrate and you will only be able to do that without auto aim so you always have to kind of weigh your options but uh, generally this can help especially against lightly armored targets and this will be another example of just the same thing only not around a corner but cresting a ridge and this works just as well you can see how I actually don't even have to look at the tank the great thing is what I can do is when I come over I can just take a shot at the enemy vehicle that I have engaged with auto aim and at the same time I can just have a look at my surroundings and try to figure out what's going on around me which increases my situational awareness one other situation in which you can actually use auto aim pretty effectively is when you are circling an enemy tank trying to for example outrun its turret traverse now again this only works when the enemy tank is lightly armored and um, you can be sure to penetrate every shot and don't have to aim for specific weak spots so basically we can conclude that auto aim actually sometimes can be pretty useful even for uh, advanced players but it should be uh, used cautiously and only in certain situations and it definitely is counterproductive to just only auto aim, especially at quickly moving targets. So I hope this video was informative and helpful to you guys. If it was, please make sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a lot. And uh, thanks for watching as usual. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. 